Welcome back to another edition of Truckside Chats. My name is Benji Buck with Bug Outdoor Stormwater Solutions. Today, we're gonna to talk about all that rain that hits the roof. What do you do with it? Is it causing a problem in your yard? So what do you do with the rain that's coming off of your roof? Uh, this is a question that comes up from time to time. As a matter of fact, I've already done uh, one truck side chat about the different types of drains and, and, and how to divert water and how to move water. But today I wanna to get into more of the math behind some of that. So if you haven't seen that video, maybe I can figure out this YouTube stuff and connect the two videos so that you can go back and watch that when you're done watching this one. If you'll remember from that video, there's a difference between the French drains and drain pipe. French drains are going to have perforations in that corrugated pipe. There is an application for that. I saw today where somebody had come in and they used French drain where they should have used solid pipe. Um, and it was causing, uh, the, the water was soaking out of the, the French drain and the French drain ran right along the foundation of the house. And this was a two story residential uh, duplex. So you had one, one family lived below, one family lived above, and the, the family down below, the, the homeowner had to quit renting that out because it was full of water and it flooded it. So we talked to the homeowner about how this French drain is, is really the wrong pipe. There's some other issues. I mean, I'm really simplifying it if I were to tell you, yeah, it's the, it's the French drain caused the problems. There's more to it than that. I'm not a big fan of French drains. Um, but there was more to it than that. Downspouts needed to be tied in, that sort of stuff. Again, we've talked about that in, in other videos, how to move it. I want, today, I wanna to really focus in on how to calculate. So in other words, if I were to put a rain barrel uh, at that downspout, what kind of difference is it gonna make? And is that going to be enough? In most cases, that one rain barrel is not going to be enough. As I talk with my clients, we come up with what is your tolerance level on some of this. A lot of times that rain barrel is not enough. A rain barrel is typically going to hold 40 to 50 gallons. They had two downspouts and they put in two rain barrels. And the nice thing is in Greenville County, it doesn't happen all the time, so I can't guarantee it obviously, uh, but, but Greenville County soil and water from time to time will, will put out uh, free rain barrels. And I'll say, oh, you know, we have 100 rain barrels at the office, first 100 people to come by and get one, you, you know, one, one barrel per household. That makes, makes perfect sense to go get a rain barrel, tie it into your downspout, and it will collect water, and you can you can connect a soaker hose to it and run it through your garden. And then after the rain event happens, you go in there and turn that soaker hose on and relieve the water from the rain barrel. But that rain barrel holds 50 gallons of water. So in this case, the, the property I just looked at, two downspouts, 50 gallons, that's 100 gallons of water is that going to make a dent in the water that comes off of that roof? And in most cases, not really. Uh, let's, let's just go through the math of it. If you have a, let's call it a 50 by 30 foot rooftop footprint uh, on your property. So um, square footage of that would be 1,500 square foot, and that required more, more time than it really should have. But 1,500 square feet of rooftop, water's coming off of that. How much water is coming off of that rooftop? Now remember, it's not all coming off on one spot because you're, usually your, your house peaks and you got half of the water going here and half of the water going here. But, but for that whole rooftop, 1,500 square feet of water, you're going to uh, multiply that by the inches that you get during a rain event. So if it's a half an inch, we're going to multiply 1,500 by 0.5. If it's an inch, then you're going to multiply it by one inch. You could get into the two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch rains. Uh, that's not typical. Usually we're not going to get much more than a, an, an inch in a 24 hour period. Uh, Usually, we got a four and a half inch rain event here a few weeks ago in Greenville County, South Carolina. But in a one inch rain, 1,500 square feet, then we're gonna take that and multiply that by 0.623. So on a 1,500 square foot roof, a one inch rain, you're gonna get about a thousand 
gallon, eh, it'd be lower than 950 gallons of water, whatever that is. If you've only got a hundred gallon tank, you know, you're only, you're only taking, you're not even, you're taking out a little over a tenth of the water. Is that enough? Is that going to help? Well, you know, on your heavy rain events, no, you get a two incher and now you're getting closer to, to 2,000 gallons of water. Maybe you put two or three rain barrels together, but know that a 50 gallon rain barrel is just literally a drop in the bucket to a one inch rain event on your rooftop. Uh, I do think that it helps. And in some communities, I'm starting to see, we've talked about this before, where, where they give you uh, stormwater tax credit when you, when you install rain barrels on your home. I love rain barrels. I think they're a, an amazing tool. But in all honesty, you want to do the math because you don't want to go into this and you tell your, your partner, hey, look, I've got, a, uh, I've got a, uh, an idea to solve our problem. Let's go get two rain barrels and put them on our downspouts. And, and, and you spend all this time uh, making these rain barrels and designing a little flower bed. And next thing you know, you've, you've, you've put a weekend's project together and the next rain event comes and you still have the same problem you want to make sure you set the expectations at the right level You're taking out 50 gallons 100 gallons whatever the number is off of a thousand gallons worth of water coming off of your rooftop are you, are you really going to see a difference on that i don't know I, I still like the rain barrel idea because you're using you're reusing water that was free instead of stuff that you have to pay you're you're <clears throat> you're doing something right for the environment. I like the rain barrel idea. I just want to make sure that we understand that, uh, that that's a lot of water compared to what that rain barrel can hold. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what to expect when you start putting in these rain barrels on your place. We're Buck Outdoors Stormwater Solutions. We're here to help you find solutions in your neighborhood and in, in Primarily, we like to work with manufacturing sites, industrial sites. Um, that's why we do these videos because we do want to help uh, uh, the homeowner as well and, and give them some tips that maybe they can go out and do. We're Buck Outdoor Stormwater Solutions. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, become a part of the community, share these videos. If you're maybe you're the president of your, your, your HOA and you want to have some content on your social media pages, feel free to uh, copy these videos and put them in and communicate with your, your, your neighbors about how to protect the watershed that we all live in. Again, my name is Benji Buck, Buck Outdoor Stormwater Solutions. Thanks so much for being part of our community here.